What's good, family? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use automation in the MPC software. I'm going to be using my keyboard controller. Today, I'm going to be using my Nectar Impact LX61 controller. It's a different controller. It's, um, it's not on the... How can I say this? It's not on the midi mapping list so like if you go to if you go to find your midi controller let's say uh under midi mapping that's mine under the factory i don't have any nectar presets hopefully the mpc will or a will fix this in the future because nectar has some pretty good controllers also but anyway um so I had to create my own uh, mini mapping for my Nectar. So I could use my controller as a, um, to do automation with. Uh, but the first thing you need to do to set it up is you wanna go to your preferences, go to MPC, go to preferences, and under where it says MIDI sync, where it says your controller, mine's the Impact LX61, Make sure you have the track on. The track will make it so that your keyboard plays, you know, your MIDI notes or whatever. And control will make it so that your, your MIDI controllers, like your knobs and your faders and your, if your controller has like a transport control, it'll make it so that those are automatable. Automatable, jeez. You could, you could automate them in your, MPC software. Using your MPC software, you can automate with the knobs and stuff. So make sure the control is on. Hit OK. Now I have a beat already loaded. Let me zoom out real quick. Okay, it's a little four bar. It's a little four bar something, nothing crazy from the um, MPC library. Now what I'm gonna show you how to do is, uh, I'm gonna show you how to use automation in two different ways. I'm gonna show you how to draw automation in, and then I'm gonna show you a more fun way to use it using your controller. So to use automation, if you wanna draw it in with the pencil tool, first thing you wanna do is take your mouse, Come down here with this little drop down. Well, not here, I'm sorry. Come right here. Now, you wanna go to your program, like this is my boom bat program. And on that program, I have a filter right here by Brainworks called um, Clean Sweet Pro. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here we're gonna automate the filter in in the uh excuse me. We're gonna automate the filter in the Brainworks Clean Sweep Pro. And, all right. So click that click the drop down, go to program, boom bap, that's my that's my beat right there. Not mine, but whatever. Um I'm gonna go to insert and then I'm gonna go to excuse me, sorry. I'm gonna to go to high pass. So I'm gonna use the high pass on here and I'm gonna automate the high pass, all right? So, come up here, grab your pencil tool and you can start drawing points in. Wherever you wanna, wherever you wanna go. Now, the finest of your points will depend on your quantization here. So I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you a few different examples. If I have it set to bar, right, and I try to draw in tools, if I try to draw in automation, it'll only let me go by bar. Let's go quarter.
It lets me put draw points at every quarter note. Sorry. Let's go to eight. Let's clear this out first. So it's easy to see. Now let's go to extreme 64th just so you kind of see the difference. You come in here, hit control A, hit delete. See what I mean? Now an important thing is to make sure when you're when you're playing back your automation that you're set to read up here. Global automation read. When you want to write your automation using your controllers, you're gonna click that, it's gonna go to write. Now be careful with that because any knobs or anything you control will be recorded. So I'm gonna go to read now. So now it's gonna read the automation that I have here. Okay, so let's go here. So let's, so now, oh, excuse me. Okay, let's clear this out. Now I'm gonna use the controller. I'm gonna use the knobs and faders on my controller to control the high pass, okay? So, let's get out of here. So now, I'm gonna use my controller. I'm not using the mouse, just, just so you see, if I use the mouse, it'll be right here. I'm gonna put the mouse over here. Let me move everything in so you can see. Now the mouse is up here where to close the window out. Now I'm just using my keyboard control, my, my keyboard's controller, the fader, okay? So now, Choose your starting point, hit right, and then hit play on your keyboard. Now you could pretty much Now you could pretty much automate anything uh in your MPC as far as anything that has a knob or a fader. You could automate buttons. But this is just the basics. Uh you could use it for things basic as making a fade out with your volume fader, or you could use it on some effects like phasers. You can use it on uh, modulation and um, just just try it on everything. Try it on everything. Like if I come here, let's see, you'll see, I gotta say it, in your MPC software in the Q-Link section, it'll go to screen. When you hit the, when you hit the effect that you want to automate, it'll show you knobs here related to that effect here. So uh, right now the high pass here is this right here. High pass type, type here. Then you have high pass order somewhere over here. Okay, now if I hit my compressor, which I'm using a one of my crazier compressors, I love this compressor, the Shadow Hills compressor. I can sit here and automate any of these knobs, okay, or buttons. So now if I, let's 
let's see. So now all you have to do is click the plugin and these knobs now reflect here. So you'll see like bypass, power, channel, side chain, high pass, key in, mix. So it's different. So try it on everything. Try it on your effects. Try it on uh, the volume. Try it on. It's great on panning. And, and it gives your beats a little bit more of a life to them. It'll give it more movement, more life, and it'll sound more professional at the end of the day. All right? So that's how you do automation in the MPC software. And if you have any questions, you could drop them down below. I will leave a link down below also for my free drum kit. If you are interested, you could download it. It'll be the first link in the description. And all the gear I use for my music production will be in the description also. Uh, all of the links in the descriptions are my affiliate links. If you do click them, I may receive a monetary bonus from it. So I would really appreciate it. Uh, please like the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Please click the notification bell so when I create new videos, you'll be the first to receive them. You can check them out. And please share this video with your friends. It may, it may be able to help somebody who just started using the MPC and may find some value in this video. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I thank you for watching. This is your man, Jimmy Conway, for Music Production Tips, and I'm out. Peace.